What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a, I guess review, you can call it, uh, kind of like a walkthrough. So a while ago in September, I had done a vlog, I don't know, I went to Bespoke. I didn't show you any details uh, of the specifics of the area inside Bespoke because I kind of saved that for this video. A lot of people were inquisitive about the actual process and what goes on while you're in there. So I figured I would do an actual detailed video about it. So that's what this is. Um, I'll do a video overlay. I'll like minimize myself in a corner. I'll be up here somewhere and you guys can see exactly what's going on. So you'll see there's a whole bunch of drawers and whatnot. And in each drawer, there's a lot of different materials. So it starts off with like basic leather, Napa leather. Um, and you can basically take any one of these materials and use either or side of it. So you got denims, you have, like I said, leather, you have uh, tumbled leather, you have, oh my God, uh, ostrich leather, you have printed leather, like a if you wanted to use like a diamond cut, a ostrich cut, like whatever, whatever material you could think of that's been on a shoe is probably in bespoke uh, alongside of corduroys, uh, suede's, um, I'm trying to think what else is in there. Uh, there. There's like a ton of materials. I can't think of them all off the top of my head, but it's just a wide array of stuff that you can use. Ballistic mesh, regular mesh. Um, ugh, I'm trying to think. I said corduroy already, um, 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 denims, I said denim already. It's just insane. And then the detail effect stretches further past that. You have midsoles, you have outsoles. You can change the different partitions of the outsole, which I'll show you in this shoe. Um, it, it's just a, a lot of stuff. So if you're, if you're gonna actually think about doing bespoke, you wanna keep that in mind. I'm gonna get into this first, which is the folder that they give you. Um, it's pretty thick, it's a tri-fold. Has a nice little wire thing that you use to unravel it if i can get it done uh this is just a white one they, they come in different colors there's a black one as well uh i got that for my last one so I, it doesn't really make a difference what color the folder is there's nothing special about it it's just what's inside of it so first they give you a rendering of the shoe so it's probably really glossy and i apologize for that i'll see if i get like a photo and throw it up for you uh this is just a basic one-sided portion of the photo if you change different iterations to the inside and outside typically they'll put it on the upper portion um, it is changed on this, but I only got one photo this time with something with the printer, but it doesn't really make a difference. And then also inside here in the center portion of the trifold, you'll see there's material in there or like a little circle. Uh, you open that up and you pull out all the material or swatches, if you will, of what you used on the shoe. So I'll give you guys the material. So I did a corduroy in a blue color. I did a corduroy in a gray color. I did a 3M in that blue color to match the corduroy of the first shot. It's probably really reflective right now because of the light. I did a mint corduroy. You guys will see that. I can't even see what side I'm holding. Uh, mint corduroy. I did a glow underlay for that, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I also did rock buck in the gray. You can flip that, but there's really no point in flipping it. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by flipping the materials momentarily. Rock buck to uh, wrap the mud guard. I did a denim or a... Um, a ballistic mesh for the inside of the shoe, super comfortable. Uh, I did a yellow mesh for the actual inside of the shoe, which I can show you. It's just a little detailing hint. Uh, I also did a sail new buck, which I reversed and then perforated. So that's my toe box, as a matter of fact. Um, so I perforated the inside of the material so I could put it across the top of the toe box. So the outside is actually like a flat new buck. The other is a longer hair. And I, I did a a minimal perforation not the wider perforation but the smaller one i also did denim but I, I yeah i used the black portion of this on the denim and then i also used a dark gray corduroy so there's a lot of different materials that go into it and i'll show you the shoe as well they also give you a usb so if you want to upload it to your computer you get the rendering there as well and then last but not least you get a full layout of the shoe I'll get it really close so you guys can see it. You get a full layout of the shoe describing each portion of the shoe itself and the materials that you used. So it's pretty dope, uh, well detailed. I mean, you don't need all this extra stuff if you're designing a shoe, but it's nice to have and I guess keep as memorabilia for the shoe that you designed yourself. And plus the price point is pretty healthy. It's $1,000. Uh, they deduct the tax, which is, I think, 88, so it comes to 1,088, but when you're done, they just round it down to, round it down like they're doing your favor. Uh, they round it down to an even 1,000, but it's, it's an experience. It's not just a shoe that you're buying off of a shelf. It's a shoe that you're designing specifically for yourself. I'm trying to organize this stuff while I'm getting back into it, but I'm just going to close it for now. I'm going to show you guys the shoe, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 360 view of it in my, uh, my little, like, lighting box. So you guys can see a little bit better so i'll minimize myself again 
I did a lot of different things here. So like I said before with that sail color, I flipped it and then I did a minimal perforation on there. I'm gonna try and get it close so you guys can see it, but I'm gonna show it to you in the uh, the larger video. So I'm not gonna get too crazy with that. Then we'll roll to the uh, the toe cap area or the mud guard, if you will, which is the rock buck, which anyway, I did light gray in that. And then the upper portion has got all that light gray corduroy going across it. And also on the tongue portion, on the medial side of the shoe, I used the turquoise on the corduroy portion and then the underlay was at 3m so it gives it a nice little hit i took some pictures of the shoe already so i'll probably throw those up as well just to give you more detailing effects and then rolling to the heel portion i used a darker gray in the corduroy just to give it a little contrast and then you could see that minimal perforation or that um that mini perforation on the new buck again or the suede if you will so it's a mint color on the corduroy on the medial side of the shoe and the underlay is a glow so like i said i, I went really simplistic on the shoe but i wanted to make a shoe that I can wear all the time. And I feel like I, I kind of achieved that with this. Plus, uh, I, I was just trying to make something appeasing. And I, I never sit down with like a real idea. I go in with colors in mind, but then once they start bringing me other stuff or something new that's coming to the shop, I start reimagining what I wanna do. Uh, getting to some more detail, I put the denim on the tongue stamp label up top, Nike with the swoosh underneath and Air Max underneath that. Um, I used that ballistic mesh on the inside because now that this is my third bespoke, I find using different materials on the inner portion of the shoe kind of makes it difficult to wear. Uh, I use suede on my first one and it rubs off on my socks. If I wear in the summer, it rubs off on my ankles. It's not that comfortable. And I wanted to wear something or have something that made it very, very comfortable. I went with the gray lace on the inside with a turquoise agalit. Uh, I'll show you guys all those details in the other video. I don't know why I keep pulling it out in here. And then the footbed, I used a Liberty of London print just across the footbed. I didn't get different footbeds on this one. Uh, one of my older shoes or my older, my first pair of shoes, I got different footbeds just as an option in there. But uh, I, I didn't think I needed it too much. I'm going to show you guys the inside of the shoe. You can see the vault color just on the uh, inner portion of the medial and lateral sides, like the back paneling of it. And it gives you a nice little hit on the outside of the shoe, I don't know if you could see it there, but a nice little hit of neon volt going across the inside of the tongue area, which is, I, I thought was a nice little effect, little detail action. I went very minimal with the branding, so I just used the tongue brand and that was it. Uh, you can do branding across the heel portion if you wanted to, you can make your own branding in there. I used a number on my last shoe. Um, you can really do whatever you want. You can also do baseball stitch across this portion of the heel as well. You can do it on the mid paneling and you can change the stitch coloring as well. It, it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, I, I went, like I said, super minimal on this. I used a gray midsole and I used a clear bubble, but it's actually glow in the dark. So instead of doing the entire outsole glow in the dark, I did a translucent black and I also did a glow hit towards the heel portion. I'm going to grab my last bespoke or my first bespoke as a matter of fact and i'll show you guys the differential so this is my first bespoke it has a different shape as well it has that more flat shape it has a shoe tree inside so i'm trying to push it up a little bit but it gets real flat towards the front portion as opposed to the new shape which has more of the arch to it i don't know if i'm if i'm doing it any justice here but um it, it definitely has a different shape and it takes a little bit longer to get the old shape or the original shape of the air max one but you can see here i'll turn it on the outside and I just want to show you the differential and what you can do in the outsole. So I changed a lot of different portions of the first one. I did, I believe, white, pink, translucent, white again, and then blue. But you can change every one of these panels. But I only did it on two portions on the, the, uh, the last bespoke. So I want to show you guys what the difference was. You can also see the baseball stitch and the branding that I put for the camp out zero on this one as well, uh, which I do not have on the more recent one. I did no baseball stitch and I did no branding across the back. Uh, also, I changed the tongue tag up top here. So instead of having the zero on the tongue tag, I just went with the Nike, like I said, minimalistic or minimalist. And then you can see there's suede inside here on the uh, the first one, which is what I was talking about. And I have denim bleeding and it's, it's actually not that comfortable. And uh, I also changed the material on the tongue because it's so supple and soft that I was getting uh, color distortion or it was pulling the denim off of my jeans onto the tongue. So I, I want to stay away from all of those common mistakes or mistakes that I made on my first one. Uh, even though I do love this shoe so much, uh, I, I, I don't know, it's probably my favorite design that I've done thus far, even though I do love the newest one because I can wear it more. This one I can't wear as much, but that is pretty much it. And you can see the shoe trees that they uh, failed to give me on this time around. So I'm waiting for the shoe trees to come in. They come with shoe trees as well, wooden ones, if you were wondering, but 
overall, if you guys are trying to go do a bespoke and you're wondering how to start or what you should have in mind when you're going, I would definitely say, um, see, it, it's hard for me because I don't like go in there with anything in mind. I just go. But if, if you're more indecisive about what you can possibly be doing, go in thinking about material. Think about what kind of material you want to use. And honestly, once you know the material you want to use, it'll be a lot easier to decide what colors you want to use because there's a wide array of colors in all materials but I feel like sometimes it's hard to decide what material you want to use and that's what kind of strays you in a different direction so I wanted to use the rock book I knew I wanted to use that I knew I wanted to use some kind of suede with some kind of perforation and uh, the corduroy was like a last minute call for me um, they had two new colors that came in or a whole bunch of new colors that came in in the corduroy which were the mint and the colors that I used in the swoosh and I was like you know what I'm switching my whole shit up so that's exactly what I did but I'm a little bit more well around it when it comes to designing the shoe that could be anybody though if you feel like you're comfortable enough to design your own shoe then go for it you know this was the one in between the bespoke in between the first and the last one so it's just black and red uh kind of an homage to my mom because her red was her favorite color and uh we don't need to get into all that detail but i went super crazy with the materials is what i want to switch up the most in the shoe uh basically i did the ballistic mesh across the toe box and the upper portions on the medial and lateral side you can see that wraps around the foxing as well uh, i did black cork across the heel portion and i put a number in there on both shoes my number and my mom's number uh or my favorite number on my mom's birthday uh, i used some black 3m and each swoosh has a different cut of leather so one's a diamond one's ostrich uh, the other's python and one more is alligator or this one's python the other one's alligator and diamond cut so that was like the uh the differentials that i wanted to use in the shoe i use leather on the inside on this one so it's super comfortable as well uh and i didn't use oh and i used the black mesh instead of the volt mesh on the inside of this one so uh i did the mini swoosh on this bad boy as well so that's the other differential that you can go with like i said there's a lot of different things that you can do uh outsole i did black and red uh translucent translucent red and uh, red towards the toe portion. And uh, I use rock buck again on this one, just the black rock buck on this bad boy uh, across the entire mud guard. And uh, yeah, so a little black denim in here as well. Like I said, you can really do anything you want to when it comes to making a shoe. I think I made three totally different shoes in the interim of making bespokes. And my next one will probably be different than this, but it just depends what you're in the mood to make. Anyway, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, hit me in the comment section, please. Um, I'm, I'm not a professional when it comes to doing this, but if I can help you in any way, it'd be my pleasure to. Um, I'm also probably going to do a giveaway. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, just for this video, if you guys are watching this video as I drop it, which will be tonight, so December 5th, I think it is, um, I'm going to put some pictures up in my Insta story and the first three people to hit me up saying that they want one of the items I put in the Insta story, uh, it's yours, all right? Peace.